Well, I'm going to ask you what do you think about the top 20? Terry, for a start. It's the in thing to do, to buy a record and have this record. It's plugged so much, it's in, they've got it all day on the radio or down these clubs. And they think, well, I'll buy this because it's a popular record. I mean, we don't have a choice of this. It's just the fact that, peop that the people in charge of the you know, record companies, they think, oh, we'll have a new sound in. They get this sound in, they plug it on radio stations, commercial stations, a lot, television. It catches on. We, we, we don't have a choice of what we want. It's what they want, what they think will sell. A lot of the money teenagers earn goes into buying records. A three-minute single costs over seven shillings. If it's a hit, a record can sell a million copies. The big record companies compete furiously in plugging their records. But do kids buy what promoters want them to, or do they think for themselves? Who do you think buys the top 20 records? Little kids about 16, 17. Mums um, and, and dads. Mums and dads and things like that. Because, well, they don't go to the places where they hear good records, you know, so they don't know to buy them. Do you prefer records of the top 20 or those which aren't in, you know? Oh, those? don't mind, you know, if something good comes in the top 20, you know, I like it, but I don't necessarily listen to the top 20 because it's the top 20. Mm. You know, most of it's a load of rubbish anyway. Yeah. Well, it is, isn't it? <laughs> Stuff like Jim Reeves, you know. That's what well, you can't. Buys. Well, you can't dance to that, can you? You can't do anything to it. <laughs> just makes you sick. Some people just sing about something, and I don't think they really believe in what they're singing about. We never have much time to sit down and just listen to a record, anyhow, because most people prefer records that they can dance to all the time, not just ones to sit down and listen to. Because. You know, classical music's good enough for that. Are there any pop songs whose words you think are really good and mean a lot to you? You know, that are, say, very sincere? Yeah. Otis Redding, mm -hmm. you know, my girl. Oh, yeah. But he sort of sings about something in particular. Uh, a poor singer with a right big band behind him. You know, it can sound terrific, even if his voice is a load of rubbish, which which with English singers, the, the voices use loud and loud of rubbish. The in crowd, as soon as something becomes very popular to the masses, they'll turn around and say, oh, well, they're no good now because they're popular, they've turned into just pop music. Mm. They've no soul in it anymore. If it's a slow one, you're more inclined to listen to the words. If it's um, something with a marvellous beat, then it's the beat that makes you dance, and you don't take much notice of the words at first. But um, I think after you've got used to hearing it, you begin to think about the words then. There's nothing sincere in a song. It's just an illusion, that's all. It's just a song, an illusion. That's as far as it is. <laughs>